Twitter to translate. I, I said it today in the Discord. I said I'm gonna be mad if we get to a, a situation where the Bears draft Killer Williams and this bug is RG three. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad because it, it, it's that's the way the game works sometimes. Like no matter how good you see somebody, the game in the and at the next level in anything is different. <laughs> and everybody else and YouTube at CBMK. I do pre-recorded. It's nice. It's neat. But it's a new me. It's a new season. Sports is here. And we gotta cover it. That's why we're coming to you live. And I had to bring my guy in, Steve O Speaks, from NBA Central yeah, and all, sure. Because we have to get into it. It's been an amazing college season so far. A an abysmal NFL season, but it's yeah. the chat. So before we go any further, I just want to remind you that this live episode is for you, by you, because of me too. <laughs> Y'all enjoyed the little video. We'll be back with the episode. So, you know, Sebo, man, uh, there has That'd been, be hard. right, we're here in Chicago, and the Bears have been more than interesting. But before we get into the fields, uh, because Justin Fields, you know, the last two games has looked like an all-star quarterback. But the previous 11, 12 were shaky to say the least. A lot of reasons for that. So I want to begin to say I looked at the schedule and I'm wondering are we on the verge of a turnaround? Here's what I mean. Next game is against the Vikings. That could be a win. Raiders, that could be a win. Chargers, me? Maybe. That could be a yeah, win. Yeah. Saints, that could be a win. Panthers, who are 0-4 right now, that's going to be a win. Lions, that's a toss-up. Mm -hmm. Vikings, toss-up. Lions again, toss-up. Browns win. Cardinals win. Falcons win. And then we end in Green Bay. Are we looking at the turn, or are we on the verge of a turnaround for the Chicago Bears season? It is definitely possible. Um... I ain't gonna say I'm confident in it, but it's definitely possible. Like all of those teams are definitely beatable. Um, like the only per I like I, out out of those names, like the ones that I'm really worried about. That excuse me. That um, I think a lot of people are kind of like brushing past is that uh, Cleveland game. Um, yeah, they're not as that team they were um, as an explosive team, offense of our per se, but their defense still real. And that defense is some people don't people don't pay attention to, but um everything else um always a division rival. That's gonna be a, a talk up, and I'm I'm excited to see it because for one, this is our second time second game against the division uh playing a uh, team. Um, of course we're zero one because we lost the first day to uh, Green Bay. Right. So now we play uh, our second time, and this is gonna really tell us what <laughs> what this team gonna do. Now I kind of I kind of look at this team similar to the um team we just played Washington Commanders. Not to say they're similar as a team, mainly their defense. I'm more concerned about their defense. I'm not, I'm more concerned about us playing offense than the defense in their offense. I already know their offense is gonna cook. Right. That, um, but if we still get the type of pressure that we can not get that we got against last uh, on Thursday night. Hey, it could be it could be a problem. Hey, any pressure up the middle for a quarterback will cause problems. But like I've been telling uh, my friends today, like bro, Just, Justin Jefferson probably gonna have a buck eighty because that middle of the field gonna be open. It is what it is. But if you could just make a couple key plays 
and you keep playing the same way y'all been playing the offense, that's definitely could be a way. Are we are we looking? Is this a fluke? Right? Is this uh is Justin Fields uh-huh. this type of caliber quarterback? Or, you know, has the last two games have been kind of what I call fool's gold, right? Like, we all know he's super athletic, right? So, yeah. he does anything athletic, you know, that's not a shock. But dominating with his arm, leading with, you know, his presence, making smart strategic throws. I thought, me personally, this was more of a tryout for the 2024 NFL draft, right? We were going to tank and, you know, we're getting ready because we have, about 10 quarterbacks that are probably going to enter into the, you know, uh, draft class that are really outstanding. Right. And we'll, do, we'll talk about that in the next segment. It's Justin Fields, the quarterback to go forward with. I'll put it this way. As my man, Pat, the designer once is, has been saying, you gotta, you gotta commit to somebody. Okay. You didn't done it with, you didn't, you went through Chabisky. Now you're going to go through another one. We then went through the debacle with the Mike Glennon. We then went through the debacle to Jay Cutler. We then went through the debacle to Trubisky. At some point, you're gonna have to commit. Are we gonna have the same issue if we decide to go to Caleb Brown or if we try to if we decide to go to Drake Mayhem out? You gotta commit to somebody. And to me, I feel that like everybody's worried about the consistency. Like, yes, he has to be consistent as a quarterback. But at the same time, we can't sit here and say that everything around him has been consistent. And when we seen him have a consistent line, we see him get weapons. We've seen him. We've seen him dominate games with his arm before and not to this caliber, because for one last season, they seem like they can't. They kept him under a 20, 20 to 25 attempt um, below, below line. You couldn't go above it. Now they're allowing him to throw it 30, 35 times. Sure. And 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 that's one of the main things I wanted him to do is like you have to allow him to throw. You gotta allow him to mess up. Like now I'm seeing those throws like that Washington game. You got a touchdown here, got a touchdown there. Miss DJ came back, got DJ again. I need him to go through those times where he just missed a throw. I need him to go through those, those times where he's just Allowing the game to go as itself. But the main thing is now that you're changing the game plan around his skills, moving him outside the pocket, then allowing him to uh, shoot, uh, to throw in a, uh, in a shotgun or wherever you want to do it, then it starts to pick up. He's more comfortable. All you had to do was make him more comfortable and okay. you see what he could do. But you said you got to commit to somebody. And this is where I'll push back. The Bears let go of Chase Claypool, right? All right correct after the thursday night game uh, which is funny because they you know moved heaven and earth to get him and then he mm. didn't uh, i mean maybe not heaven and earth maybe just yeah. purgatory. this is a second round pick okay but he moved enough to get yeah. him let him it was go. an l it was definitely an l it was an l right and then yeah. we moved we do it for what a second another second round pick we just we're kind of stacking the deck what message are you sending the fans when you start just getting rid of people without proper or prior knowledge? I, I, I think we've seen this coming. Like soon as he said what he said, and then they said that they told him once we find out they asked him to stay home. I say, oh, like he's getting traded before the month is over. We all knew that. Like I, I think out of everybody on this team, plus when you see every since he left. Yeah, <laughs> the, the offense that looks way much smoother. So like it, I don't think it sends a big message. Like it have to be somebody of like uh, immense value for like if we was to just randomly trade like T.J. Edwards or trade like a Britsker on a random like then the the the, the city gonna be like whoa whoa wait a minute. What you doing? Like I think everybody's seen this Claypool. I think the Claypool move was more of like now I'm looking at polls like I don't know if you know how to pick some wide receivers. First nice. it was first it was Valis that you breached to get in the third round. Now he a gunner. He not even catching he can't even catch of uh, kickoffs. Now yeah. then you pick Claypool. It's like not it's like to me, it's not now I'm looking at polls like I don't know if you know how to pick a wide receiver. I don't know if you can assess uh, assess talent in a wide receiver department. That might be fair. That might be fair. I'm looking at the update for the game. 
No, two seconds left, 27-24. Colorado is up by three to oh, Arizona. <laughs> uh, and it's at the nine, second and 18. So basically, they're a play away from winning. Let's assume here Colorado wins this game, right? All right. Colorado is four and two. The two games they were expected to lose, they did. They get a resurgence. And now all eyes are back on Prime. Is this a build up for next year or really can they do some magic in the Pac-12 I, I kept telling y'all if y'all looking for something to happen this year in the Pac-12 is not happening Why not? It's not? they're not ready they don't have a team yet like the fact that y'all got 17 transfers was already crazy but <laughs> when it comes to the thick of things especially in the college you have to have a D-line and O-line if you don't have a D-line and O-line you're not going to do nothing you can have all the skill talent in the world, but if your quarterback can't throw it to him, it don't matter. It is the corners can't guard everybody for that long. That's it's the true. Pac 12. Pac 12 has some of the most craziest offenses you will ever see. It's not like it's different between like the SEC. Like, if the I mean it, it would be even worse because then you run into some of the greatest wide receivers you probably ever gonna see. Then you got an old line that's crazy. Then you have a running back running you the whole game. It's just is there. I was telling everybody if you're gonna root for them, root for them next year. Because that's when everybody gonna be like, I'm going to Colorado. I, I commit to Colorado. I'm going to Colorado. Go prime. That's when you're gonna get that. These next year to year uh year two to year three is when they're gonna be making some noise for real. That's fair. Look, I wanna break Plus down the transfer portal. The transfer portal. I, I think by the end of this year, I, I do have them having a winning season. I don't know about national championship, but I do have them making some noise. Obviously, as you stated, the offensive line of the defensive line is sketchy to say the least. No big guys. You need thickums. I've been saying this. Without thickums, you will not. I watched Kansas play today, and they just got big, meaty players. And the problem is, like, and that's Colorado how Colorado wins. Right. That's how you win in college. That's how you win in the NFL. Uh, but, look, I want to break down the top college quarterbacks. I want to play a clip from Justin Fields' interview post-game win and talk about maybe that transition to see where his head is at. And then I want to go into it because I think we're overlooking – quarterbacks like Drake May, like Jordan Travis. I think we've given a lot of attention to the Bo Nixes of the world and others, uh, but there are some standouts that we really have to pay attention to. Quick word from our sponsors. There's a hero in all of us waiting to be unleashed. All it takes is just that one last push. Activate the hero within with CBMK Global Supplements. All natural, steroid free, designed to enhance performance, build muscle, and increase energy. You are unstoppable. You can do this. Become your own hero at www.cbmkglobal.store. Look, y'all get it today the way the protein is out. The only way I slip protein you ever need. That's why it's called the way. It's in chocolate. Get it today. It dropped this month. Also, you got superpower. You got salt. You have saucy. You have warrior thirst. There's so many you can choose from. Why not be the best you? Unleash your inner hero. www.cbmkglobal.store. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a discount, 15% off, B-Y-T-H-E-E hyphen W-H-E-Y, 15% www.cbkglobal.store. Look, I want to get into it. I'm going to share the screen. I want to look at, hopefully this goes, because we've gone through this before. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of crazy. You got Jordan Travis over ah! the quarterback in Washington. I, I'm oh, no. Of... <laughs> well, look. I'm kind of shocked about that. Who is the best? Right. Hey, okay, fine. That might be fair. I do have Jordan Travis. You can eat me up for this. But I think these are the five best college quarterbacks. You can get at me, not in any particular order, but I'm going to go from here. Number one, Caleb. Number two, Shador. Number three, Bo. Number four, Drake May. Number five, Jordan Travis. What are your thoughts? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, 
to me, I, I haven't got enough tape on Jordan Travis to say he's even in the top five yet. I think he's in the top five by conversation just because how good Florida State has been having a renaissance this year. And um, but if I had to if I had to rank it, yeah. Uh, I'm going Caleb one, Drake May two, Bo Nix three, Shador fourth. And I, for some reason, the dude, I don't No, I can't say that. I can't say that, but I'll say it, find out his name. I'm sorry. I got to do it. I got to go Caleb first. Okay. Drake May second. Michael Penix Jr. three. Jeez. Bo Nix four. Shador fifth. How does Shador drop to the bottom of the five? Because you haven't beaten anybody. It's not true. He beat TCU. TCU is one of the worst defenses in college. I keep telling you this. Like I, I get it. They played in the championship, but they're like Notre Dame. Their conference sucks. So they, every time they're going to dominate their confidence, their conference, and they're going to have a high yeah. three or four seed. They That's just, just how it works. He just won today. They just won. I just looked at the uh, and who they play. They played one and uh, well now five team in Arizona State, uh, the Sun Devils. No, I thought you were talking about TCU. I no, I'm like, talking about Colorado. I mean, yeah. Arizona State ain't been nothing for years. Like that's that that's been an Oregon stomping ground over there. They do have some nice uniforms though. <laughs> they do. They do. Look, I here's 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 my projection. I think all considered talent for talent, if you evaluate a quarterback from the neck down, head ability, right? IQ, eyesight, accuracy, arm ability. Not including athleticism, Shador might be two slash one. I mean, Caleb no, is one because no. he just looks I like give a player. Every, by your breakdown. Yes, I put him over Bo. I put him over Bo. Yeah, I put him over Bo. But when it comes about our, our talent and like understanding the game, he's still. I don't think he's still at the level of Michael Penix Jr. and Caleb Williams and Drake May. It's just the experience. These dudes been playing some of the. I get it. I'm not saying that he can't. I just have to see him do it because I can, it's it's a difference. No matter what nobody say, yeah, I'm not saying he cannot play against these great players. But it's just like the NFL. We gotta see it because hey, no matter how many times they say Andrew Luck is one of the greatest college quarterbacks we ever seen, we still had to see it translate. In the NFL. We did. We did. We still had to wait for Trevor Lawrence for it to translate. We waited for Justin Fields for it to translate. (laughs) We going to have to wait for Caleb Williams. For it to translate. I I said it today in the Discord. I said, I'm going to be mad if we get to a a situation where the Bears drive Caleb Williams and this bug is RG3. (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad because it, it, it's that's the way the game works sometimes. Like no matter how good you see somebody, the game in the and at the next level in anything is different. It, it, it don't always translate. Now so far, what well, about the t- the player, the teams he's beating? Is no, it's no slouch. TCU is so no slouch. Yeah. But Drake May, Caleb, they have beaten. Some teams more than once. True. So that's my whole thing. Like, will Caleb become probably one of the talents it was out of here? Maybe. Maybe. Just like I was completely wrong about Shadur. How we thought I'm not Shadur. Um, CJ Stroud. We always talk about Bryce. We ain't heard. We ain't nobody talking about Bryce now. You're right. It's I the CJ show. I wasn't. I wasn't so. I wasn't so I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I ain't gonna do it. I, he's talented, but like I said, he's so small that he's the type of quarterback where you have to have a top ten to top five O line at old at all times, sure. or he's going to die. 
I've literally seen that man get put in a full Nelson tackle. I don't even know how that's possible. I'm so serious. I thought he died. I was like, bro, he, he, bro, I'm so scared for a D tackle to grab him. I'm glad that the, the Donegan school is not playing no more. <laughs> I'm like, uh, bro, I, I promise you, like, it's and it has nothing to do with his height. It's the frame. Sure, it's it's his frame. I mean, but, but I still, yeah. Two is small and two is having an impact, so you can't necessarily. But two got big. He gained about 15, 20 pounds. Yes, he did. Yeah, yes, he did. I, and that's my thing. If 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 Bryce was built like Russ, I think nobody would be tripping. Because he's about Wilson. the same. He's about yeah, Russell Wilson. Right. Yeah, because he's about the same height, but Russ like two thirty. <laughs> Russ is Russ is a Russ actually has some size on him. Like, he's, he's a not, big guy. Yeah, he's, he's not, not little. Smaller. No, he's a big yeah. guy. He's a big guy. Let's switch gears. NBA. Speaking Coming of NBA, up. I'm trying to see did y'all win tonight? <laughs> oh, the preseason. I saw. I y'all saw losing. We're losing. It's <laughs> 98 the to 84. Yeah, it's the preseason. I don't oh. put much uh, faith in the preseason. And street clothes playing. Who is street clothes? Oh, uh, AD. <laughs> yeah, 15 and 5 right now. Oh, it's not bad. Not D'Angelo bad. Russell hooping 15 points. Yeah. Uh Rihachimocha got 12. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's first of all, playing Golden State is the preseason. They're not gonna take this seriously. I mean, you know we won the second quarter. No, we did. We lost second quarter 31-32. Okay, whatever. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Is it man the preseason? We don't take this stuff seriously. The preseason, but anyway, so back to what I was saying. My original premise was LeBron's 21st year. Man, dedicating this to Bronny. Is this a run or is this a appreciate? Is this the Kobe? You know, like I mean, obviously, LeBron. So, somebody showed us that. Most points per game from any player over the over or in the year 21 or above is nine, right? Uh, and LeBron is projected to be at about 21, 22, right? Is this a Laker run or is this just another year, high jersey sales, revenue, marketing, but no real competitiveness? It's all up to health and cost and adaption because, um, one thing I don't want this team to do is get get comfortable doing what they did last year because right. people are gonna been watching tape now. Um and I'm I'm looking for it I'm I'm it's like three keys I'm looking at. Health, yep, coaching, and development. I'm looking at I'm I'm I wanna see tremendous development out of Austin and Ruby. If y'all have a, a nice, not even a huge boost, if y'all get a, a a nice boost like the way he's playing tonight, Rui Hachimura and yeah. Austin Reeves, y'all can have a real shot because y'all y'all dangerous. Y'all have a lot of size. Y'all have a lot of defense around y'all, and y'all potentially have a lot of shot makers. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. Yeah. So we still, yeah, we still got to see it, but um, <laughs> right. yeah. But yeah, and also I would say look at that that the uh, the Russell, uh D'Angelo Russell situation. He, he he it's not that he ain't talented, I just don't know if he fits. And I and, and if you do, you gotta find a way for him to fit. You do. I've been questioning I is this a Rob build up for a big trade? And the problem is who is there to trade for? We lo- you know, they You win. never know. You because you this this was who I was. It's gonna be a disgruntled superstar or a disgruntled player, at least one every year. That's true. That's true. Just every like I've been telling people, keep your eye on Trey Young. On Trey Young, I you know I you know what Trey Young to the Lakers for D'Angelo, uh, yeah. Christian. Uh, we can give about four people honestly for Trey Young. Yeah, right. I, I, yeah, I, I've. I, I, Trey is another weird, like it's it's kind of weird to build around him, and putting him next to AD and LeBron ain't a bad idea to me. Not at all, because they gonna let Trey be Trey, Trey balling, and he's that. right, and he can affect, bro. I just thought about it, like the amount of fouls they would get, like because because he understands, like he the way. That's why I always say I don't really co- uh, compare him to Steph because the way they attack the ball, like he know how to find fouls. If that makes sense, are you trying to say he's more aggressive than Steph Curry? No, no, because I think. 
Steph goes to the hole knowing I can, I'm going to get this layup and I'm going to try to get an N1. I think I think the way Trey is, he realizes his speed and his herky-jerkiness that he can almost I don't want to say ref bait, but yeah, it's not it but it's not almost ref baiting because it's like but only well it is only when he jumped back into him. Yeah. But he is starting to master the like, okay, he's on my back. Let me floater it real quick and to get the foul. And he's knocking that floater down. I agree. Look, we're gonna take a uh, break here from our sponsors. I want to cover Giannis and the Bucks uh, because Ooh, I I had them, I had them, yeah, going far, and then Boston made a move, mm-hmm. and now I'm starting to rethink my pick. Quick word response. I literally just tried the best pre-workout on the planet. With Superpower pre-workout, you have increased focus and a power boost every single time you work out. It's not only packed with 225 milligrams of caffeine, but it also has citrulline and creatine. It's insane how much energy and focus I had during my workouts. If you're ready to take your workouts to the next level, then ditch your current pre-workout and get the Superpower pre-workout to be your own hero. Y'all. If you're taking stuff like Lit, Total War, ZOA, you're doing yourself a disservice. I want you to win right now. I want you to go into the gym worker already sweating, already looking like you done worked out. And the only way you're going to do that is by taking superpower. superpower. When you take superpower, superpower, you'll have all the superpower you need. www.cbmkglobal.store. Trust me, you only need half a scoop. Just superpower. Superpower. <laughs> Yo, so you know, we, we talk about <clears throat> we talk about Milwaukee, right? Milwaukee makes this amazing trade for Dame. And I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm happy for Dame. He's out of there. He's out of that toxic situation. He gets to be in a winning franchise with a champion uh-huh. in Indianas. But the thing about a true winning organization is they always have one up their sleeve. Boston Celtics said, fine, you let go of Drew. We will need a point guard and we need to get tougher. Let's go get Drew, <laughs> right? Boston signs Drew Holiday. And now I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, uh, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are really going back and they're going to finally get a ring. Here's Bro, this is the greatest replacement you could have got for Marcus Smart. It is. It really is. Like, this was the missing key they've been missing this whole time, a point guard. And this is why I'm kind of irritated because I'm I'm irritated at my team because we realize how important Lonzo Ball was. It was. And he's the closest guy we're going to get to a Lonzo Ball. True. And we didn't scoop him. Well, I don't think we had the, the anything to scoop him. But yeah, it, it I, I said the move was Bucks was gonna probably be that. It's not the same no more. It's really not the same no more. Cause you also gotta look at health when it comes to Milwaukee. Dame is probably one of the most injured shooters <laughs> I've ever seen. Yeah, like the man had a, a domino like issue at the beginning of the season last year. Like that don't normally happen. It's just like, like even at least Steph is he like he goes through his injury here and there, but he's starting to get that. He gets it together. It's almost unpredictable when it comes to Dame now. And then we're starting to see, excuse me, we start to get Yadis to get a little bit banged and bruised, and which is expected the way you play. He plays basketball, so it's just understandable. But then he did fall on his tailbone, got hard, so I kind of understand that. But Chris Middleton. He's probably the least healthy in that whole lineup, and he can be a real good glue guy if he's turned to anything he was before he got that contract. But yeah, I, I think that hey, that Eastern Conference Finals should be crazy. It really will be. It really will be. I I really hope that's the the the, the matchup that we see. I'm calling it now: Boston versus Bucks. Boston will win in seven, in seven. Games, in seven against uh, what, Milwaukee, and they will play. And the only way I say Bucks win and is Dame got go berserk. 
Dame does have to go berserk. Dame does have to go berserk. And I'm going to call it for those haters out there, for the Roger Walls, for the Denzel Gold, <laughs> for the Tyler Banks, for the Chris Taylors, for the Naaman Williams, for the Kevin, Pastor Kevin Doris, for the Pastor Naaman Williams. Oh, uh, not Chris. What Chris say? I'm calling it right here. LeBron will win his fifth ring this season. Oh, Jesus. And he will be officially enthroned as king of the goats. You heard it here. You heard it first on the CVMK show because it is. I ain't never heard that before. (laughs) It is what it is because it is what it is out here. Steve-O, man. I appreciate it. We're going to do live Saturday nights. (laughs) Uh, it's it's fall now. You want to hey, we'll give it to you late night, Steve O man. Where can they connect with you? Hey, follow me on Steve O Speaks at all my social media platforms. Follow me on NBA Central as well as the rest of the Central fam. I dibble a dab and all of them. So yeah, just let me know. I'm over there. He is, and you'll see him over here too. Yeah, oh, we Steve. might we might have to come up with a little schedule for these uh, NBA games. <laughs> we do just post game analysis. Be like, look, all right. They we need to NBA needs to pay us. They don't know how much. Now we definitely gotta uh, do something about this uh, that tournament, the early um tournament. Oh yeah, that midseason tournament is gonna be heavily covered for sure. Heavily covered. NBA, holla at us. We want checks. Look, we just want ten grand a month a piece. Um, bro, just to put the logo in the top right, right corner. Just put the logo. We'll show <laughs> all the stuff. We'll be as PC as you need us to be. We just want. 10, we want ten k a month, and we will air. Mid uh, the mid season tournament uh, recap, we, we can even sound like uh, we can sound like TNT if you want us to. Yes, you, yes, we can. We got well, to be Stephen A. He, he could be uh, Charles Barkley. Hey, man, I could like, turn into Shark. Uh, he's like, he's a like, skip. <laughs> I mean, skip. Hey, he kept calling Stephen A. Smith. Skip. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's been six years. Six years. Six years. <laughs> Oh, no, that's embarrassing. Man, that, I don't care. The, the, he got the craziest clip this year already. That man said they can't pop, stop a park car with a Uzi. I almost fell out, bro. That man, Shannon Sharp, Mr. Hennessy himself. He is Mr. Hennessy. No. And them Russian creams. Right. That's it. Mr. Cognac. But y'all, YouTube, subscribe, like, comment, CVMK, Instagram, all of them. Almost. Just threw out just one, not just Stephen K33, Stephen K underscore global. Do you know we're at 30,000 followers? Don't you want to be 31,000? Actually, we're at 32,000. Don't you want to be part of the number? All the cool kids are there. They should be there too. It is what it is, underscore show. And until next time, guys, thanks. If you think exercise alone got me looking like this, well, think again. CVMK Global Super Thick got me right. I'm obsessed and yeah, I won't stop talking about it because it helped me grow in all the right places. Its creatine provides a fast and reliable way to increase your power, size, and shape. And it's scientifically proven to help you reach your physical goals in a safe, controlled manner. So if you want to increase muscle size, pump, and thickness in your muscle groups, you need Super Thick.